the year 2010. The New Orleans Saints and Indianapolis Colts in the Super Bowl coming out of halftime. Crazy onside kick. Saints recover, gain a ton of momentum. Drew Brees leads them to victory, win the Super Bowl wild. Also, your New York Jets, it was the last time they were in the playoffs. Also, I wasn't even drinking age. That doesn't matter. I don't care. Thought I would tell you. But New York Jets going into the 2024 season, a lot of optimism. Aaron Rodgers healthy, bunch of young talent, and possibly, possibly adding one more piece. Let's talk about it right here. My name is Aaron. This is the Daily Huddle, your one-stop shop for anything sports, big news, insights, rumors, game analysis, whatever. We're going to talk about it here. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, like, subscribe, comment below when I tell you to. Would love to chat. So we're going to jump into it. The New York Jets, a lot of optimism going into this year. As I said, Aaron Rodgers healthy, did some crazy things to that Achilles. He should be good. He has some uh, year, two, three, who knows how many years left in the tank, but he still has some football to play, and he wants to prove the haters wrong, okay? His debut in New York didn't go great. We know that. Yes, Aaron, stop talking about it, but he's going to redeem himself, totally redeem himself. So why am I talking about this? You guys already know all these players and all this stuff. Well, this little tidbit right here. Now, you guys remember Devontae Adams, Aaron Rodgers, a killer combination in Green Bay. And I know a lot of you are already like, nope, don't want to hear it, don't want to hear it, don't want to flirt with it. Listen to me. Just hear me out. And let's look into this. Because you never know. All right? Lloyd Christmas, you're telling me there's a chance. Yes, I am. So, at a celebrity golf tournament, Aaron Rodgers, I've actually been to that tournament in Tahoe. If you've never been there, beautiful man, lake, freezing cold, golf, fun to watch. So Aaron Rodgers uh, was basically, you know, asked about Devontae Adams. And this is what he, uh, this is what he said. He said, I love Devontae Adams. I can't wait to play with, I, geez, I can't talk. I can't wait to play with him again. So if you've ever seen anything with Aaron Rodgers, he always is just, you know, jokes around, says com- some interesting things. So should we take this serious? No, probably not. But there's always a possibility. You look at Devontae Adams and look at the dumpster fire. I want to say Oakland. I almost said Oakland. I'm saying Oakland right now, but it's Las Vegas. I want to say Oakland. But Las Vegas, Raiders, dumpster fire. Who's starting at quarterback? Let's just jump real quick over to their depth chart. Gardner Minshew, hey, he stole my heart. I loved watching him. Guy's a dog. But I hate to tell you, you lost Josh Jacobs. It's 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 not looking great. Um, you have two great tight ends, but you're not utilizing them like you should. It's just not great. And then who's your backup quarterback? Aiden O'Connell, the guy from Purdue. Yeah, he will, he'll probably end up being a second-string quarterback the rest of his NFL career. So, uh, you know, not much going for Devontae Adams when it comes to the Raiders, especially the fact that you have to play the Chiefs. That will most likely dominate you. Chargers are up and coming with Harbaugh, and um, Justin Herbert actually – probably getting a great offense that he's going to love running under Harbaugh and again Broncos maybe that's the one team they can compete with because they're also trying to figure stuff out too but besides that you look at the Raiders not looking great so the question is would the Jets be actually willing to flirt with the trade for Devontae Adams I think yes you have a small window of opportunity to win a Super Bowl for the Jets and I think it's a huge possibility, especially with Aaron Rodgers and all of this young talent they have. Garrett Wilson at wide receiver, Brees Hall at running back, uh, Conklin, a solid tight end. The defense, very, very uh, great, can shut down teams. And right now, you look at the uh, AFC East right now, I think their biggest t- competition is probably going to be the Dolphins. Again, a lot of young talent there. But I think what puts the Jets over the top is their solid their solid defense. And I think they're going to be able to handle the Dolphins well. I think they're going to do fine with that. You look at the Patriots rebuilding. You look at the Bills. I think they took a step back where they lost D- uh, Diggs and uh, 
uh, Davis, Gabe Davis. And so who knows what's going to happen with them. I think that the Jets, again, dumpster fire last year. Aaron Rodgers, that was the whole plan. Went down real quick. Sorry, I am opening up old wounds. But I got to say how it how it went. So I think this year, e- easily, I think they have a good chance to make the playoffs. I think that's a no-brainer. But to put themselves on that next level, that next tier, being able to get Devontae Adams would be huge, would be massive for the organization. And so I think what they do is they say, hey, we are we are all in right here. Aaron Rodgers, we don't have for long. Who knows what, what we're going to do as uh, kind of our contingency plan with him. You looked at last year with Zach Wilson and, and all that mess, him in, other people in. It was just a disaster. So I think – What they should do is at least should consider calling up the Raiders and saying, hey, what would you want? Draft capital, whatever it may be. Maybe some other, maybe you're going to have to get rid of some people. But when it comes down to it, I think they need to flirt with the idea. If you're not flirting with the idea, then what are you doing? You know, again, small window of, of opportunity. Go out there, go win it. Look at Peyton Manning. When Peyton Manning went to the Broncos, How many years did he play out there? He didn't play that long. Yes, he made two Super Bowls, but the Broncos assured him, we are going to put talent around you. Yes, we are going to spend money, we are going to make a push, and we are going to win a Super Bowl. And that's what they did. Even though that Super Bowl they won, I don't know how much credit you can necessarily give Peyton Manning. He, whew, yeah, that defense was great. But that being said, have a great quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, boom, Garrett Wilson, boom. Brees Hall, awesome. Add Devontae Adams to the mix. I know Mike Williams also on the team, but it would be great. Comment below, what do you think? Do you think that I am just trying to uh, get you over-optimistic? Do you think that uh, it's a possibility? Comment below. I want to hear from you guys because I, I think it could happen. Aaron Rodgers, listen, he went to the Jets. All right. A lot of people were like, oh, he's, you know, he, he's going to stay in Green Bay, stay in Green Bay. Boom. He darts. See you later for the Jets. What do they got to lose? Throw everything you got at it. Try to win. We'll see what happens. And we look at the we look at the Jets roster real quick. And again, Mike Williams, Garrett Wilson, um, Tyler Conklin. Aaron Rodgers. A lot of people think Conklin might take a little step back just because you have people like Mike Williams, Garrett, Garrett Wilson will probably get a bulk of the targets. And then as well as Brees Hall out of the backfield. And then just a stellar, stellar defense. Also fun fact, met CJ Mosley at the Denver airport, super random before he got drafted. Crazy. I know you don't care, but I'm going to tell you anyways. So Jets fans, this is what I want to know. Comment below. Is this a possibility? If not, also tell me. Jets record, what's it going to be this year? All right. What do you think is going to happen? How far do you think they're going to get? Are they going to win their division? Let me know below what's the record going to be. I truly appreciate it. Again, like, subscribe. You guys rock. Peace.